Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, another episode of Vampire. Thank you to those that joined me on live stream live chat and those watching on YouTube after. I would like to thank those that have liked and commented on my videos. I would like to thank those that have subscribed and exploited my channel on other media platforms. Let's get into this episode. Hope you enjoy. Let's get this. Alright chat, thanks for sticking with me and those on YouTube, welcome as well. So basically, we just turned uh, Sean Hampton, he drank our blood, see how that goes, and we heard a scream, so let's come out here and find out what's going on. Another corpse thrown in the streets. Someone's playing a very sick game. Yeah, definitely wasn't... Wasn't Sean. I know this brooch. This is my mother's. A birthday gift from father. Oh, no. 29 Pretty Orchard Street. That's near Poplar's District. Why would this man carry off my mother's brooch? I must go there. What you guys see? Glad to see you again, Mr. Reed. Did you see what happened? No. I was coming back to the shelter from work when I heard an awful scream and there was this man dead just in front of the building. You saw nothing at all? No. I told you, just that awful woman's scream. A woman's scream? Are you sure? Of course. It was terrifying. I thought it was my sister, so I ran. But it was a man I've never seen round here before. That's the crazy part, is like I heard the woman scream too. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. You again? What do you want? Did you see what just happened? No, I didn't. And I don't care. Really? Why is that? Because this sexist pig is one of the four men who blacklisted me. Good riddance, if you ask me. Oh. Well, I'll leave. That's, uh. I'd understand that. <coughs> Good evening, Mr. Throgmorton. Dr. Reed, can I be of any assistance? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Dude, <laughs> right in front of our eyes. Duh. Did you see what happened to him? Actually, yes. He was thrown from the roof like a vulgar log. Why is it that you sound so afraid? You didn't see it. He was dead before he hit the ground. The strength required to do such a thing, well, it beggars belief. Who could have done that? Who? Well, a vampire, of course. Look, bite marks on the neck and lacerations here. There is definitely a vampire close by. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, we messed him up, chat. That last, uh... Hint. Anything new for you, though? Nope. Goodbye. Alright, we can rest to evolve to. <clears throat> but there's also this. Hide and seek. So, where are... We need to find in this area. And am I out of the area right now? Nope. So it could be behind out here too? I'm just seeing if my senses and stuff will actually pick it up or not.
It's locked, all right. So why could he be hiding in the sewer? Here's blood going up this way. And I'm out of the area. Oh, this is that one house, but the person's gone. The body. Wait, is this still in the. It is. about downstairs this is the area still right yeah oh mrs. Gillingham Oh, there's an unknown here. Oh yeah, we meant to talk to this guy. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Do you need any help? Rest assured, I will help you, sir. Martin Nightingale, at your service. Please, take a look at my wares. <laughs> your merchandise. I don't really see anything worth having. No offense. None taken, sir. But please, I need to eat. Perhaps if you keep looking, you'd see something that takes you fancy. Let me be frank. You're as much of a businessman as I am a werewolf, right? Who the hell are you to question me? It's hard enough to stay clean when you don't have a place to sleep. I'm doing my best here. I meant no offense, Mr. Nightingale. I was merely pointing out the fact that you're unlikely to survive long if you continue wandering this path. And what should I do then, sir? Should I join the wet boot boys like so many others? No thanks. I'd rather be a bad seller than a dead gang member. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? Have you got any friends around these parts? Not really. Miss Gillingham smiles and says kind words, but I know she's lost her marbles, especially since her son died. Tell me about this crazy woman. Madness is often mistaken for other conditions. The poor woman's mad, all right. Kind and all, but she has so much trouble remembering things. She's taken me for a son more than once. How interesting. I don't suppose you know what happened to her son. Jack. Rumor has it he tried to tackle some gang lads. I didn't know him well, but I heard he was a nice enough chap. His old ma still thinks he's around. Young man, do you require medical attention? I'm perfectly fine, thank you. Why not try seeking help instead of peddling your wares? I'm sure there are people around here that would gladly help. There's always the night asylum. I heard it's run by a very nice man, but I'm no beggar. Not yet, at least. There is no shame in asking for help, my boy. Sometimes it can even be the best course of action. I don't feel okay with that. I'm gonna make a name for myself, and I'll do it by myself. Alright, so the only thing I could think of is I found this watch. I found this watch. It belonged to Miss Gillingham, but I thought you might find it useful. That makes sense. She would have forgotten about the watch by the next day. If you say so. Take this for your trouble, Dr. Reed. I will not forget your gesture, I swear. I fudged up.
Oh no. <clears throat> Show me what you have to offer then, Mr. Nightingale. I think that was Miss that was Miss Gillingham's watch. <clears throat> oh well. Alright, let's find yes, Good evening, miss. It's me again. I'm sorry? Who? Dr. Reed. May I come in, please? Why, of course. Is there something wrong? I think I should come in, miss. I'd like to check if everything is okay, what with the epidemic spreading across London. An epidemic, you say? How terrible. I had no idea. But where are my manners? Please do come in, doctor. You... You are a doctor, yes? Okay, we're in her house. Let's take what we can from her. Bye, chat. Make your way in and take what you can. It's locked. Does she have a upstairs? All right, let's talk to her. So, Dr. Tippett, what brings you back here? I heard whispers you had a job at that fancy hospital. I told you my name is Jonathan Reed. Don't you remember? Of course I do. I remember my name too. Gillingham. But you may call me Enid, Doctor. I'm very happy to see you again. I am not him. What can you tell me about this part of town? Oh no, I don't gossip. That would be most unbecoming of a lady such as myself. That's uh, very interesting. Who are the more influential figures on the docks? <sighs> Well, I heard about some terrible illness going around. I would say in that case that it's you, Dr. Tippets. I'm not Tippets. <coughs> is anyone taking care of you, Miss Gillingham? My son is always here to take care of me. He's a good boy like that, but I do worry that he needs to start living his own life. Well, I would never say that to him, of course. Right. But her son's dead. Enid, have you really no idea what happened to your son? No idea at all? I've not seen Jack for so long. I lose track of time. Has something bad happened to him? Oh, man. <clears throat> All right, chat. Here we go. Poll time. Let me know. Yeah, chat. Half of me wants to just say he's dead. Jack will come back. Takes good care of you. She has a headache. But saying Jack is dead. Is it going to get rid of, you know... Her other hints. Alright, so... I'm so... Everybody's still confused on this one. Because... If you think about it... If you try looking these up... They don't really tell you much of anything. Jack takes good care of you. <coughs> Jack is dead. Can't lie and say he'll come back. You know what? Jack takes good care of you. Jack takes good care of you, Miss Gillingham. He does indeed. My Jack is the best son a mother could ask for. 
Because if I say he's dead, it's going to ruin stuff, ain't it? <clears throat> Goodbye, Miss Jillian. She asked for migraine. Don't I have migraine so, medicine? Dr. Tippett, what brings you... Do you require medical attention, miss? I'm glad you asked, Dr. Tippett. I must confess I haven't felt that well of late. Oh, we don't have it unlocked. I'll see you later. Goodbye, Miss Jillian. Totally forgot we don't have what's this? Rodney. What the? That's why he's hiding. <clears throat> All right, let's go back then. Oh yeah, it's gone now. So that was the place. So, hopefully, go back this way. <clears throat> go back down. <clears throat> right? Let's confront his butt. <clears throat> oh yeah, chat. By the time I'm making this one, um, Madden 25 just came live. So I'm going to be doing some recordings on that and it'll be put out on Sunday. Alright, so if we're going... Oh, I gotta go the other way. Yep. Now I know why you're hiding, dude. But you got all these scowls near you. Convince him to go back to the docks. There he is. Rodney, you're the man who killed that gang member, are you not? Is that why you are hiding in this godforsaken place? Yes, I did. I did not even know his name. Then why did you kill him? That arsehole always mocked me for the color of my skin. Usually I let it go. But not that night. We fought. He died. Spineless coward. You're no blooded killer. You can't stay here forever. Whatever you've done, you can't spend the rest of your life hiding <coughs> here. I just wanted to teach him a lesson. Not kill him. I'm not responsible for a murder if I didn't want to commit it. It was an accident. Believe me, Rodney, you won't survive here long. No matter what you did, you must go back to where you used to live. I'll go back to the docks then. But if I die... Remember that the blood of Rodney Grader will be on your hands. It's not really like that. Because they killed Jack. I could mesmerize him now, but I need the other three.
Alright, hide and seek is done. Alright, now we're back to Red River. And we can also, um... Vest and evolve. I want to get a stronger, um... Ultimate. Especially if we start finding more people. Right, chat? I still believe I should have gave that, uh... Lots to miss, uh, jailing here. Yeah, I really wanted to. I really wanted to tell her that her son was dead. <clears throat> but... If I tell her her son is dead... And, like... It's locked, all right. No proof or anything... I thought it was, like, gonna mess up her... Um... Clues or hints. All right, where do we go? Investigate the flat. In the burrow. So he lives here. So his flat. These are docks though. So some are here. It's locked. I just read it, uh, chat. I'm gonna go up. There's another hint up here, you guys said. Ooh. Shillings. More stuff. So I need to activate this. Her and her headache. There's Rodney. <coughs> He's sitting down. You said there's a crack in the floor somewhere? Oh, right here. Take the shillings. How long should I wait, chat? Here she comes in here. But it's not like coming up like they're gonna talk though. Cause he's dead. I don't know. I don't want to spend this whole time and then they're not going to talk. I'm the one what should be grateful, my dear boy. It's like, why are they not talking then? Oh, there we go.
There, stand right here. <coughs> they activated, yay! I'm sorry to say, but you haven't yet paid me for the clock I brought you last time. The clock? Oh yes, I found a broken clock in the living room and I... I couldn't remember where it came from. You broke it? Oh, that is unfortunate. It was such a beautiful piece of work. Really? Oh, I'm so clumsy these days. I'm so sorry. How much was it? This will be enough. I can't make you pay the whole price if it's broken. That's so kind of you. I'm going to make some tea now. It will be enough until the next time you forget it, you old bat. Ooh, I want to mesmerize him. I really want to mesmerize him now. Ooh, let's talk, dude. Good evening, young man. There's no need to call me that, Dr. Reed. It's time to confess, Martin. You've exploited Miss Gillingham's weakness to your own advantage, have you not? All I've done is smile at her and be kind to her. I've done no other harm than giving her what she needed. This is no crime. What is your excuse? I suppose we all justify our actions to ourselves in some way. So come, tell me what your excuse is. I can blame a fox for that. They taught me never to expect nothing from anyone except lies. So it's bad parenting then? How convenient. Where are your parents? Six feet under, I suppose. When the flu were weak and my father enough for him to be too weak to punch me, I figured it was time to run away. Ah, so we got another. Is that why you let them die of the flu? Because your father was beating you? When the epidemic started, last summer, I begged them to leave town. Neighbors were dying, houses were looted, but they chose to stay. Do you have any regrets about what happened? I haven't got regrets, but sometimes I'd like to make sure they're gone. Dead for good, like, it helps me sleep. Wow. Oh, we got all his stuff. And we can mesmerize him. <coughs> Let's trade. Show me what you have to offer then, Mr. Nightingale. So, you guys are saying I need to get this music box. And then look at it. Vampires, factions, and scows. Take that too. And then there's some stuff. Uh, brisk blood sample. Small dose of brisk blood that can be used to create stamina serums for vampires. Huh. Alright. So now you're saying I need to look at it. Uh, where would it be? Right here? <clears throat> My dear Jack, I write this letter as long as I have the strength and they will. Not that I have something to hide or to fear except perhaps to forget what I would want to tell you. Blah, blah, blah. I'm proud of you, my son. Wow. All right, let's talk to Miss Gillingham again. Good evening, Miss Gillingham. May I come in? Of course, uh, of course. 
Alright, let's let her know. So, <coughs> Dr. Tippets, what brings you back here? We haven't talked in quite some time. Uh, not that. So there's two things. Enid, listen to me. You must not trust Martin Nightingale. Do you understand? Martin reminds me so much of my Jack. I've not seen him here in quite some time. Martin is not your son, Miss Gillingham. He's taking advantage of you. No, Martin is not my son. My son's name is Jack. He always takes such good care of me. Who is this Martin you speak of? Please listen. Martin is a young man who extorts money from you. Because of your vulnerability, miss. What are you attempting, Dr. Tippets? If this is some kind of new experimental procedure, well, I do not like it one bit. Wow. Tell me, Enid, why do you feel guilty about your son? I know I'm a burden to my Jack. I know my mind and my thoughts <coughs> are drifting away. I'm so sorry. I can't help it. This is not your doing, Miss Gillingham. You do not have to apologize for your condition. Of course I don't, Doctor. I've done nothing wrong, I swear it. What exactly are we talking about here? Yep, she already forgot everything. We got everything for her too. Except for the headache recipe. And I only need one to take her. So she's done. Goodbye, Miss Gillian. It just leaves everything unanswered. All right, we need to find this guy's flat. Well, he doesn't live here. Those are not houses. That's warehouses. His house is in the borough. And these are all houses here. Alrighty, so... She's dead. Take what we can from here, I guess. She was she's not going to need it. Why does it seem like we've been here before, though? Yeah, see? It's part of this. Locate the man's flat in the burrow. Huh. That's my thing, is like, where is his place? Like, there's a downstairs right there. Back to the night shelter. Where would his place be, chat? What do you think? Up here?
because this is the other place. I don't know. Because now we're back out. Now we're back out here with all the bad guys. All right, uh, those on YouTube, I'll be right back. I gotta go handle my dog real quick. All right, those on YouTube, I'm back. Uh, yep, had to take care of that real quick. Um, dog was, uh, getting into stuff he didn't need to get into, so, um, we'll check our map, uh, for some reason, we have to go here, Red Rivers, so, um, but, people in chat were saying I need to go to a hospital before, and over here for this event. So we need to get these dialogues and knock those out as they come up. So, I'm going to get to the hospital, bypass all this stuff, go around, because over here, yeah, seems like, uh, don't know how I would get there because before I couldn't get over here and all that stuff. So, we'll find out. Alright guys, I'll see you at the hospital. Alright, those on YouTube, we made it back to the Penhurst. Uh, Penbroke. Wow, not Penhurst. That's uh, real life at... Well, that's an asylum, but... Uh, basically, we're at this desk. Um, we got this uh, sturdy blood sample to analyze for a new blo blueprint. So, let's get this. Uh, so basically we got this, uh, we started having two of those, we can make two of these. So we'll just make all of it. <laughs> Alright, uh, then we can also evolve. Basically I wanted to, uh, upgrade the ultimate. Now we're going to do 320 damage. Alright, let's confirm and see what uh, these burrows do. Especially what we did with uh, Sean Hampton. If you ever live near the docks of East End, you know who Sean Hampton, Patrick Hampton is. And if not, you might have heard of him. His name is blah blah. Uh, can't find background. Respectful. The building looks dirty. Stents around the place is awful for a delicate soul, but there is hope. And death toll has been low and stable for days. Wow, so we did good. So basically turning him was the best. Alright, the major event, your choice concerning the community pillar have been reported by the press. Okay, that was the thing. So, everything's still intact. We still have to get a uh, headache and migraine stuff. See if we can find that somehow. All right, so we need to talk to this guy, <clears throat> Mr. Swansea. There he is. Jonathan, at last. 
I've been worried sick. Have you solved the case of our poor Sean Hampton? Don't worry, Edgar. The reputation of Pembroke Hospital is secure. Sean Hampton was not the guilty party. Is that true? Oh, good news. Good news indeed. All right. Now all this stuff. What do you know of the Ascalon Club? Uh, not as much as I would like. There have always been rumors about a secret society of vampires operating in the interests of the British Empire. Though I've never met a member. I crossed paths with one. A terrifying creature going by the name of Fergal. He was sent by the Ascalon Club to exterminate the Skulls of the East End. By the stole, Jonathan. If vampires are eliminating their own progeny, then dark times are upon us. Darker than I've ever witnessed. Do you think Lady Ashbury would know of them? Jonathan, our beloved lady is not one for social dalliances, nor the assemblies of dark orders. She's a woman of superior taste and selective acquaintance. Yeah, she would know. Does the name Old Bridget ring any bells? Hmm, I've never heard of her. Why? A patient of ours? I must confess, I don't know them all. No, it's just someone I recently met. A fascinating woman. I had thought that perhaps... By the stole, Jonathan, you've met another vampire. I would appreciate an introduction, if that's the case. She's not a vampire. She's a scowl. I found Harriet Jones. She's much the same old embittered woman she was, only she's been made a scowl. Her transformation did not go well. Incredible. Why not bring her here? We could learn so much by studying her condition. It would be fascinating. I doubt that. She can barely move. Perhaps we could learn more about the degeneration of Skulls. Perhaps. But she could also belong to a new species. We know so little of the laws that dictate vampire reproduction. Were there any studies made by your order on the subject? Uh, not that I'm aware of. I will transmit your discovery to the Brotherhood's primate. He will be delighted. <laughs> be delighted. A pleasure as always, Edgar. Alright. So, not much with Edgar. Alright, so we need to talk with That's Lady Asbury, right? If it'll go on there. I am so confused on that. I don't know what. It would not stay down there where I was putting it. Well, I'm assuming it was out here. Nope, she was inside. <laughs> She's back where she was at. <laughs> Sorry about that, chat. She's back over here. It is good to see you again, Jonathan. How are you? I'm better than one might expect, Lady Ashbury. Dr. Swansea has asked me to investigate the recent disturbances in the hospital, caused by skulls. <coughs> really? What do you mean? I discovered the most intriguing skull. An elderly woman answering to the name of Old Bridget. And a man who helps them remain hidden in London. Old Bridget? Peculiar name. I've never heard of her. According to old Bridget, Skulls can lead a peaceful existence like us. 
They are even able to nourish themselves by feeding on corpses and the flesh of the dead. How vile. Please, Jonathan, let's change the subject. <laughs> Skulls of London have gone into hiding. Both mortals and immortals plot their extermination. Yes. Skulls are the orphans of the vampire society. They are the shame of their genitors. A disgrace to the vampire that created them. Wow. There is something ominous closing around me, Lady Ashbury. Something spies upon me from the shadows. Something cruel and wicked. Whatever do you mean, Jonathan? If Sean Hampton and Harriet were not the guilty parties, then who? I saw the bodies and the blood. Your rebirth has not gone unnoticed, Jonathan. Be extremely careful. If you get in the way of an immortal's plans. Too late. I've already killed... what's his name? Do you suspect someone? I don't know, Jonathan. I steer clear of vampire politics. Especially whilst hunters roam the city's streets. Goodbye for now, my lady. That's all she knew. Alright, uh, so we need to get down here. So we need to go down and then right. Oh, we have all those marked out. Delete that one. There's another one that's marked, but I don't remember marking that one. Where is it? Right here. Okay. So we need to go down here and then right. <coughs> And of course, these guys are here. Christ, he's dead. Oh yeah, I could use uh, my stuff more often now because of uh, my sword could absorb uh, blood now. Oh yeah, and uh, my stagger takes more. These guys really irk me too. Totally missed. Did these guys drop anything? <laughs> yeah, they did. And then I need to go... <coughs> over here. So... I'm so confused on that. So which way do I go? Because <coughs> over here I can't go up this way yet. Oh, now it's letting me. Stick with me chat for the next one. And those on YouTube, I'll see you in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode and learned some stuff. And I'll hope you have a blessed day. Peace.